So I see that you are from Crothersville, Missouri. Is that correct? Yes. You? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, some family down there, so just didn't know if you knew where Jonesboro was. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. About yeah. an hour away. Yep. I've got some family down there. Okay. So, so yeah. So thank you for coming in today. Um, I see that you're applying for the server position. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right. So the Hickory Pit. Yes, ma'am. All right. So first, I'll be taking about 15 minutes to conduct about a preliminary interview, just asking a few questions, and if you have any questions for me, just stop me at any point in time. All right, yeah. Yeah. All right. So as you can see in the job description, this job requires a lot of teamwork and a lot of communication. So we're really looking for somebody who's going to work with the team well and who really wants to be here and excel here and it's not a glamorous job uh, there's a lot of work to do here there's a lot of cleaning there is a lot of heavy lifting and you have to cook sometimes just in certain situations so if you're interested in that we'll go ahead and continue oh yeah perfect right. so mainly what we're looking for is someone who's really energetic and really wants to be here and wants to work as a team um, there's a lot of hours involved with this, so and sometimes you do have to work over your scheduled time, um, you know, on weekends, on holidays, stuff like that, because we do get busy as a restaurant. Uh, we're always working, and we work 24, you know, almost 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So, but we also understand that our employees have a social life, so we want you guys to go have your fun, but know that when you come to work. Right. All right. So I'm going to start with some questions for you. So first, just tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, now you already know I'm from Crothersville. You know, I'm basically the Flatland area. Uh, grew up on Missouri River. I like long walks on the beach and uh, just anything outdoors and things like that. Love working with people. Love getting to talk to people. Love being able to, you know, be that point of contact of doing whatever I can to help everyone. Okay, and I see that your previous work experience was also with an orthotics company. So tell me a little bit about what your job was with that company. Uh, basically, I built uh, leg braces, back braces, any kind of orthotic brace for handicapped children and things like that. There was a lot of instances where uh, the children weren't able to walk before, you know, two and three years old or you know, even older, up to seven years old normally, uh, they'd never taken their first steps. And mm -hmm. Some of the braces that we actually got to do, we actually called them first steps, just because it, you know, after a couple months working with us, they normally take their first steps. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Sounds like a pretty good job to be in. Yeah, so, it was fun. Well, good. I'm glad you're here with us today and interviewing for this position. So what are some, some of your greatest strengths? I'm a hard worker. Um, I learn very quickly. I catch on. Uh, very hands-on learner. So, I mean, if there's anything with that, I'll probably pick it up. You know, the first time running through it. Perfect. Because we definitely need people to pick up on it. You know, as quick as possible. Our training is usually anywhere from, you know, five to six days out of the week, and then after that, we kind of grow you into it. Just right, so we really don't have time to be running over it several times. Right, we just need as many people as possible to, you know, understand what's going on. But if you need more training, we're definitely able to work with that too. Oh, definitely. So what do you think are some of your weaknesses then? Um, caring too much about certain situations. I tend to be a little bit of a perfectionist. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I like things to be done right. Which is a good thing, too. Definitely. Oh, yeah. So it's a blessing and a curse. Yes, so. absolutely. So I also see that you do have military experience. Yes. So um, what skills do you think that you acquired during that that you can put toward in this job? Patience. Patience. Yeah. Definitely patience. Understandable. So describe to me a time when you were asked to do something that you weren't specifically trained to do. How did you handle it? Um, <clears throat> uh, going back 
to the orthotics job. Uh, I was asked for the first time to go on a run, which is basically, I was in charge of the van, and our van, we had basically a whole lab back there. We had a grinder, you know, air compressor, everything that we needed back there. Uh, I wasn't trained to actually go to a patient's house and uh, necessarily repair what they needed. And uh, my boss asked me to drive over an hour away to go meet with this patient that I had never met before and uh, just do whatever they needed to their brace. And a lot of what I was having to do is I wasn't trained on. Okay. So you feel like you handled that pretty well with you know, talking to the patient and be able to you know, do what you do back in your office you know, in that lab. Right. I definitely feel like that worked. I mean, I got nothing but good compliments. Not to me, but she called the boss and whenever... I was told that the patient called in on me. I was like, oh, great. Mm -hmm. It turned out to be a good call in. Well, so. good, good. So say there was an employee that was stealing cash each night and that you knew about it. How would you fully handle that situation? Uh, if I knew 100% and you know, like I've seen them do it, I would confront them at first, and I would let them know that, hey, you need to say something you need to, you know, confess to it, to upper management, because man, integrity is everything. Okay. okay. So. Alrighty. So, explain to me a time that you may have failed at something, and describe what happened, and how you learned from it, and what you learned from it. Uh, again, back to the orthotics job. Uh, <clears throat> there was a brace I had never wasn't ever trained on, and um, I, they basically just handed me a picture, and it's like, here, create this, and if you have any questions, come find us. Well, the boss had to leave for the day on a family emergency, and it had to be done that day, because the patient was coming in the following day, and, uh, and it, you know, I wasn't trained on the brace, and I just kind of made it to what I thought the picture looked like. It was just, it was completely wrong. So what did you learn from that then? Um, ask questions as soon as you get orders, you know. Okay. You may not be able to ask them later. Yep, definitely. And definitely ask a lot of questions in this job, just because there are some things that you're not going to know about. There are some things that only people who have been here a while know about. And newer people sometimes don't. So, you know, ask questions to not only your management, but also to your leaders and your higher-ups, because they can definitely help you out. We have a great team that will really understand, you know, that new people don't always know, you know, where things are at or how a certain way is to do it. So definitely ask a lot of questions. Okay. So where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Uh, graduate from school in a very good career that, you know, I can provide for my family, marry children eventually. What do you see as your uh, professional goals? Uh, owning my own restaurant, that'd be great. Okay. So you're really passionate about food too? Oh yeah. Good, good. What kind of food? All of it, I mean, as you All know. <laughs> <laughs> what specifically are you thinking? I know we're a barbecue restaurant, but we like to add in other ideas too. I mean, I love steak, pork chops, chicken, basically meats. Good. Yeah. So I'm, a like, meat, I'm a meat and potato kind of guy. Okay, so like a steakhouse. Oh, yeah. Just okay, okay. So, what changes have you made in working with others to be more productive? Adapting, just um, learning the way that people work, more of like a, I guess it would be like a psychology type deal. Okay. Adapting to, okay, if they, they like it done a certain way, so with them, do it that way. But then the person right beside them may like something completely different. Okay. But there's always more than one way to do things. So both of them can be correct, you know, two different managers like two different things. 
Um, cement on to kind of, you know, what hours do you think you're wanting to work and what days would you prefer? Um, open availability. So you're flexible with oh, yeah. everything? Okay. I go to school completely online, so I'm able to work at any point. Is there a way to do full-time or part-time? For the job? Yes. Yes, full-time. Full-time, okay. Okay. And so, are you also open to weekends, holidays, and possibly overtime? If oh yeah, okay. As long as it on the weekends, you know, I have to leave one weekend a month for the guard. Okay, yeah. So as as yeah, we're definitely flexible with that. We understand people do have other things in their lives. Most people have second jobs here too, so we understand that we can't always be here whenever we need them. So this job also requires a lot of late nights and staying past your scheduled time. If you were to accept this position, would you be okay with those hours? I mean, we have two different set schedules. It's usually from 11 to 4, and then from we have somebody come in at 4 until we have close or 5 or close. We close at about 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, depending on the night, but sometimes cleaning and all that can take a little bit extra time. Are you okay with staying past those certain hours, or you're okay with that? Okay. Anything to get the job done. All right. Do you have any questions for me about this? You've pretty much hit everything around the mail. Any questions that I was trying to come up with to, you know, ask you, but I mean, you've pretty much hit everything around the mail. Um, what is normally the pay? Usually the pay is about half of minimum wage. So right now, you Seventy-five, so right around three eighty-two, three eighty-five is what that is. But you are also getting your full amount of tips. So you, we don't share the tips unless it's with um, our bartenders or with our running staff, and that's usually only on Fridays and Saturdays. Sometimes on Sundays, depending on if we bring a busser in or if we're really busy, something like that. But usually you'll come out the night, you know. With a good amount of money, definitely, but usually the amount of money that you get is how much you put into your job. So talking no, to the them, harder you work, the more you make. Right. So you know, talking to your customers and fussing your tables and cleaning them off on those Friday and Saturday nights. You know, to get more people in, not waiting on your busser to do it for you. Um, kind of taking initiative and you know having more people come to your table. So really. All the work you put into it is what you get back at the end of the day. Okay. So, and then did we go over everything you had thought about when you were coming in today? Did yeah, I mean, any questions I might have had as far as the hours, you know, um, what I'd be doing, things like that. You, you hit everything right on the nail. Okay, perfect. Can't think of anything right off the back. Nothing else? All right, well, if you have any questions, um, you have my card, you have my email, my phone number. Give me a call at any time. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have for me. All right. But yeah, I'll be in contact with you. Um, talk to you soon. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gordon.